Hello guys, in this video, um, I'm going to explain to you how to use Jasper AI's, the, the AI content writer, the new feature, which is called the brand voice. So I know, you know, some of you guys already use maybe ChatGPT instead of the Jasper or, but I still use uh, Jasper AI for my primary uh, content creation because it's, um, really optimized for content creation for marketing that's great for that i mean if you use uh, chat gpt you have to kind of start over every time so i don't like uh, to waste some time uh, doing that so i i like um uh, jasper ai and uh today i'm gonna go over newly released uh jasper ai the brand voice feature so uh, essentially, this is the uh, you can pre-train in a way uh, the Jasper in a certain way based on the information you provide. So you don't have to provide uh, the context every time. Then the good thing is you can have multiple uh, brand voice. So let me go over uh, first. So uh, for example, like in my case, I have. I, I use Jasper AI for content creation for multiple clients, including my site and my client site. So I have uh, organized um, each project over here in different uh, customers. So um, usually when I uh, create the contents, you know, I have to feed the what it's this content about, you know, the business um, brief or, you know, uh, the description, right? So I think with uh, this new feature brand voice, you don't have to do that anymore. Um, you can kind of preset the context. So that's all, all it's about. And uh, how you want to do is uh, when you access to Jasper uh, dashboard, now there's a section called um, the brand voice. Uh, at the time of this recording, it's still beta. beta. So uh, the the appearance might look different as actual lunch or you know in a couple of weeks or so so basically there's two tabs so voices and memories so memories are kind of saved voice so you can have multiple voices i have i don't have anything yet and uh, this is the new voice so you can create like it says jasper can match your writing style with what you have uh, already written and then simply paste your contents below and adjust where we'll learn the tone and the style from your current writing. So uh, I just set for my client. So happened to be Japanese restaurant. Uh, and uh, you can do, you can paste the website address. So I guess the uh, Jasper can read. So, I'm gonna put URL and you can put it or the paste the brand the text. I think you need the or, you can do both, I think. Uh, in this time, I just uh, keep it as uh, name and uh, URL because when you go to the website, there's some descriptions. So hopefully, just one can read. So then when you scroll down, let me see. It said, uh, make a default work price. Uh, you can do that too. I, I'm not gonna do that. It's gonna, it's not gonna be default. So for me, but if you use this a voice, particular voice all the time, you can set as default and click add a voice. And uh, just for go ahead and generates the detecting tones and so forth. It might take uh, a, a few moments. It depends. I just saw the Jasper's demonstration on the Facebook group and uh, it, it, it still takes maybe 30 seconds or a minute or two. So just hang tight, right? Okay, so it finished. Uh, I think it took about two minutes or so and uh, I said uh, your voice, right? So it read, um, okay, so Then what you're gonna do is there's a couple options. So when you click this pencil icon, you can edit. I'm not gonna 
test that now. You can, I think, copy. Yeah, right. So you can, um, if you want to duplicate the existing um, voice and then modify, and then for a specific reason, you can do that. For example, right, say you have a, a company and you carry uh, different products, and each product has basically the same, but slightly different uh, the features or the focus, or maybe like a target group, right? Um, so you can duplicate the, the base one, then you can modify it. For example, like a one product is uh, catered towards teenager, the other uh, product is um, catered towards maybe adults, you can do that too, or maybe like a, by male or female or something like that. So uh, that's a good uh, feature. I'm, I'm going to delete. So to delete, you just click this uh, trash icon. That's all. Okay, now uh, in the second section, we're going to go to memories. Memories are the, uh, certain, uh, like a memories, right? Certain things you want to just to remember. So uh, for example, like add memories, you can do name, you can name it for your um, purpose. So I can do, uh, maybe I can do uh, feature, basic feature. So if you, you have a product, you can like a, you can put uh, product features for like Amazon or something. You can do that too. So tag, um, you can have selective uh, tags. Right now, I think there's only uh, choice you have. So company information, product information, uh, people information. So in this case, kind of restaurants feature. So I'll go with product. And you can do enter uh, text directly here in the text box or you can upload uh, text document file or PDF. The PDF, uh, I think, uh, Jasper can read. So enter text, it's simply, I just uh, made a list. So I just copied it here. Uh, this is a Korea restaurant in Godina, California, all for Japanese, I think it's misspelled. Beer, cocktails, and the shochu and wine and a Japanese tapas dishes for parties and handmade fresh udon and the soba noodles. That's a feature. So I just add memories. So it's created now. So now it's set. You set the one voice and the one memories. And um, when you actually create the document, you can choose multiple memories and voices. So um, it doesn't have to be one. So, but for now, for a simple uh, setup, we have one voice and one memories. So you go to, you can, I think you can go uh, chat or uh, documents or even templates. Uh, but for now, I just go to uh, project and uh, create the new document. Just a simple empty document. And if I go, let's say chat mode, I'm going to just clear it. Okay. So here, uh, as of now, right, this interface might change. Um, it depends on when you look at it because the, the demo I saw on the uh, Jasper AI uh, Facebook group is different. It's flipped. But as of now, uh, uh, when I access to the Jasper official um, the dashboard, it's, it's going to be like this. So what you can do is you can command, right? For example, write, let's say, invitation email, invitation email. So for example, like this. So write invitation uh, email campaign, uh, maybe multiple campaigns for lunch. So then you can choose, well, if you, if you don't have any other context, Jasper cannot just just uh, Jasper give you just a general idea, right? But when you since you set the tone and the memories, right, both apply to the chat. So we feed this voice and memories. Uh, so based on that, Jasper creates um, the context. So let's say what he's gonna make the send. All right, so this is email campaign. So um, it's subject, a, a culinary journey through Japan waits. Okay, dear customers, and 
which flavor variant culture in Izakaya Agadina restaurant offers authentic Izakaya style dining experience in featuring small uh, plates, dishes. Yeah, it's it reads um it uses the context from uh, voice and the memory, right? So it makes so much easier because without this, uh, when you create, you have to describe, right? You have to describe what is this restaurant is about and what is this feature is about. So now just uh, ordering a simple command, uh, Jasper can create the contents for that specific uh, situation or yeah, that's very simple. So you, when you click this, you copy it, and uh, you can just adjustment, make adjustment, and use your favorite uh, email campaign tool and then send it out the email. That's pretty awesome. I love it. So uh, I'm gonna set up the those profiles and memories. I mean the memories and voices for uh, other clients and uh, my site itself. So that's pretty much it. So it's I. Uh, Actually, the reason I made this video is because uh, I couldn't find uh, the video on YouTube yet about explaining this Jasper new feature. So maybe I'm gonna be the first one, hopefully. Uh, but my channel is still small. So if you like this content, please give me a like and uh, subscribe maybe so I can uh, create more content like this or maybe other topics. So thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.